Welcome everybody, today we're doing a Mushroom Fleet live stream using some of the new logic features and today I'm going to be showing you that. So I'm going to switch over to my main client, this is just the alt which I'm going to be filming something with in a little bit. Um, we're going to be going straight across uh, to my other client which is just positioned up above. And here we are. So if I take this <coughs> ignore the fighter just down here. What we've got just here is the first thing I want to show you. So if I'm just going to come out into astronaut mode. Um, oh, and astronaut mode. Haha, <laughs> nice. So let's get started. Um, first of all is this little platform. Um, it's extremely complicated. The main thing is these two switches will trigger this, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, but this here is a fancy, fancy clock. So if I turn it on and off, it doesn't work because why isn't it working? <laughs> oh, this isn't. Oh no, all the linking's in place. So why is it not? Oh, hello. Oh, I know why. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek on how ridiculous the wiring is in that case. Right. What's happened is the activation blocks for this front part are not in place. So what I have to do is hook them up. There we go. So if I take this one and hook it up to this door with C and V and then take the next one. It's probably because I had to respawn it. And on this particular blueprint I obviously didn't do that final final. There we go. Okay, so back to where we were. If you watch the pattern, it's like a snake. And the snake goes, if you watch the snake, <laughs> it's going right, and it goes into that end, and it goes up, and then it goes back through, and then it goes, I think I messed up, I think it goes down. Oh, I've broken the illusion there. Yeah, so if you do it quickly, you just get one or two blocks that just move up, move along. I think it's got a bit confused because I put an extra pulse in. But basically, the idea is the pulse is going several, it's going two ways at once. So if you notice, there's a pulse coming back the other way now. It's just to show that you can use one pulse to go two ways down the same circuit. And the wiring for that. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> the wiring for that is disgusting, but it's actually pretty simple really. Um, effectively there's two sets of activation. Okay, so we've got two activation blocks hooked up to the same door. And then we've got a delay circuit going up on these ones and a delay circuit going down on the other side. If you watch this circuit here, see it's going down, and then it goes down there. If you watch the orange, and then it's going up there, and it goes around. So it goes around here and back, and it goes up there and back, and it goes around and back. So it's like a like a figure eight, which goes back through itself. But the way you go through it is a there are delay blocks, there's one set of delay blocks, an activation box to them. Oh sorry, from them. And uh, yeah, that's how you can trigger it going two ways. I mean, I, I'll do a more in-depth tutorial on it, but <clears throat> that's the basic idea. 